I'll say Carolyn. Hi, Carolyn. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you're Sebastian? Sebastian Copeland. Sebastian yeah. Copeland. Uh -huh. And uh, you're a documentarian. I am indeed, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I'm, I'm actually an accidental documentarian. Really, what I am is more of an explorer. I uh, spent a lot of time traveling in the, uh, in the Arctic and uh, sub-Arctic, essentially, and, uh, um, and Arctic regions and the Antarctic and Greenland and whatnot. And I did a, a movie. Um, chronicling my expedition to the North Pole in 2009 to commemorate its centennial and uh, the film essentially is uh, uh, covers the expedition that I uh, led with my partner uh, we walked 400 miles to reach the North Pole to uh, commemorate uh, its uh, hundred year anniversary with the understanding that there won't be a bicentennial and in fact that the uh, uh, while this is the realization of a childhood dream for me that they probably won't be um, a, um, a you know such a childhood dream um, within the reach of children growing up today because the uh, the pole is melting so rapidly. So do you recall one moment where you saw something so incredible that you felt like if you could tell the entire world they would make a radical change at that point? You travel when, at the North Pole when it's very very cold uh, because that's how the snow and the ice binds together and it enables you to literally walk on the ocean in order to reach the pole. So it would be tough to say that, you know, doing an expedition to the North Pole in itself um, would communicate climate change. Other than the fact, of course, that it's, you no longer have the opportunity to walk to the pole and walk back because um, there's a turning point where the, the, the weather warms up so quickly that the ice starts to break and, uh, and you no longer can walk back from the pole. So you have to actually fly, uh, have somebody pick you up and fly you back. But you know, the, um, the, the, there's no shortage of, of witnessing you know, issues of climate um, impacting the ecosystem or, uh, or the indigenous cultures in the Arctic. I mean, from, you know, from polar bears who are stranded on, on ice and have to swim an inordinate amount of time uh, and distances in order to survive. There was a story even on the, the cover of the New York Times a few weeks ago about a female polar bear that swam for nine days um, and uh, the first few days with her cub and then eventually she drowned because she was trying to find um, a, uh, an ice flow. That's the only environment that, where they get to, to hunt. So these are, uh, these are instances where you can certainly witness um, uh, rapidly changes. And what advice can you give to the people watching as far as something they, they can possibly do to help to curb this problem? Well, I think that's a, that's a really good question, you know, where, where I think the, uh, the global community deserves credit and, uh, and the media and, uh, and all the efforts of environmental organizations and whatnot. Um, in the last five years, we've really moved the needle in the red and, and we've really created a global awareness on the principle of climate change, where a concept that is relatively esoteric and scientifically a little abstract has penetrated in the, um, in the uh, you know, in the common collective consciousness. And, uh, and so that's good. What is really missing is a program of action where this translates from awareness into action. And so um, what is most important is for people to have a, an understanding that it is within their own choices to be to be able to start to curve their habits and to start to commit to you know vehicles that consume less to lower their carbon index um, to utilize less energy and understanding that heat and you know air conditioners and and uh, dryers clothes dryers and things of that nature uh, contribute greatly to uh, the carbon index, index of a city and uh, and it takes just a little bit of awareness to be to have a great understanding that you two can make a difference. Well, thank you so much, and your work is excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Take care. Great meeting you. Thank you.